Good morning, everyone. This is Anne Marie. Today is Tuesday, February the 19th, and this is a look at SPY on the four hour chart. Interestingly, we are still grinding forward, although a very sloppy and ugly grind. We still are holding what I believe is a key level of support in terms of candlestick closes, and that's right around this 150, 176 area. So as we take a look at what's happening, we can really see an expanding range of price, upside and downside, creating a little bit of um, a megaphone, as it were. Now the thing about megaphones is that they're tough to trade because we don't ever really know where the bounce action is, and we don't ever really know where the real rejection is if we just analyze it that way. And what that tells us essentially is that we do have damp momentum. That's just what we have. It's damp. So the question would be then, what do we do about trading today? What does the market look like today for us? So we take a look a little bit closer at the hourly chart, we can see the waves that I'm talking about. Momentum is essentially zero. Right? We are moving and giving ourselves 100% retracement events. That's never good in terms of um, trending. And we did have uh, a high on the 13th that has not been replicated yet. So a couple days prior, 13th was on Wednesday of last week. And now here we are holding these levels above. This morning the pre-market is up a little bit. We did come down. The range in the ES overnight has been from a low of 1515 and a quarter to a current high of 151975. That's four points, not a ton of movement, but four points nevertheless. And so that might actually end up uh being, if we could hold that space, it might not be a bad place to end up trading. Now, um, we had the holiday on Monday, and it did trade very, very tightly, of course, because we were not um, uniform, meaning other people were trading the ES. So the range there is going to be pretty good for us to expand out of. My thought is if we can hold somewhere around the top of the 152.33 area, we should have expansion. And uh, below that, we're going to get caught in this sort of noise here. If it pops in and comes back out, 50% range violated here, so we should end up coming back to test this edge on the monthly VWAP. This is the weekly VWAP, so we'll be staring this down. What's the real trade here that might be comfortable? Because it's so noisy and because the megaphone event is where it is, it is going to be difficult trading today. I'm of the mind that Let's copy this. I'm of the mind that it's so noisy that um, if you do trade it, it needs to be extremely um, controlled. Here's the reason. When we have a pattern, we can definitively say, hey, listen, I know it's going to move from here to here, and that's what I'm comfortable with. But when you have a megaphone event, it's piercing in both directions. So the question might be, well, where are most all of the candles moving from? And so you can see that they are working within this range. So my thought would be, if you really want to trade in here, you would maybe want to think about watching the recovery on the edges and then taking the trade into the next area. If you want to remove it, that would be probably the safest. If you um, want to take it, then you know, you'd know you set a trailing stop up outside of these regions. And we do have this area, 152.32, and then the breach up above that prior high, uh, 152.61. Right? 
So right up above here, we'll be looking into 152.95. And other than that, it's going to be a big sloppy mess. Today might be a good day to sit on your hands and not trade something like SPY. Look for something that's a little bit more regular in its approach and its formation. All right? Good luck trading today.